What's going on guys? Welcome to GFX Capture. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to edit a After Effects template for your TikTok channel. So without further ado, let's have a look. So this is a template that I will be using from Invato Elements and I will leave the link in the description below so you can go and have a look. Also, if you haven't subscribed to Invato Elements, you can use my link and you will get a discount on your subscription as well. First thing first, when you've downloaded the zip file from Invato Elements, make sure you unzip it, extract the files and open your project in After Effects. So this is our project. And I'm going to go for the, the vertical one because we're talking about TikTok. And if you get this message, just click OK. And there you go. So you have few project files here. You have the edit comp, you have the final comp and you've got the other as well. The first thing what we're going to do is we're going to import our own images because obviously we want to be using our own images. So we want to download it into our project first. As we're talking about TikTok, you're more likely to be using a video file rather than an, an image, but it's totally up to you, whatever you want to use. Before I do that, I'm just going to quickly make a folder for my media or for my images and videos so that things are a bit tidied up in this project file here. import all of them and then what we're going to do is go into each of these compositions here and we're going to edit our images and also our text files um, sorry the text as well okay the first first thing first is go to the text logo and here we're going to change the, the text so this can be basically your tiktok channel ID you can also go and have a look at my TikTok channel there's not much content there as yet but I've recently started so bear with me while I build up the content next is we're gonna go and change the the text here in these uh, text files so I'm just gonna go into the text 01 and obviously over here is going to be your TikTok channel ID. And over here you can put whatever you want. So I'm just going to say, okay, you can put whatever you like. Go into the next one and change it to how you want it. Okay, and the rest, this one, I'm just gonna leave it as that. Okay, so this is done. The text compositions are now done. What we're gonna do now is to move to our image compositions. The first one is the logo. And obviously, as you can see there, currently there is no logo. You can bring your own if you want, or you can bring your channel ID or channel image or picture, whatever you have um, that you can bring in here. So next one is we're going to go to the third composition and bring another video file. As you can see, I've downloaded these video files from Invato Elements, but ideally what you want to do is to bring and import a video file which is at the right resolution and at the right um, screen size, just so that you don't have to chop the video from the sides, top or bottom, and it makes your composition look really nice as well. And when you look at the, the video clip in, in the TikTok um, account, it looks really good as well. So I'm just going to press on S to bring up the scale property and move it, zoom in, just so that it becomes the same size and maybe change that, push that to this side a bit, to the right. That should do. Okay. 
Okay, then we're gonna go to the fourth image. Another video and zoom in. There we go. When you play it, it will look something like this, which is good. The last one is in the image final scene and I'm just gonna bring any other video for the sake of this uh, tutorial and click on S to bring up the scale properties. And there you go. So now when you play it, it's gonna look something like this, which is really good. Put it into full resolution, just so that we can see that crispy image. Yep, looks really good. So now when we go to our final comp, so we have basically all we have done is to, uh, we have imported our video files, our images, if you have any, and also we have edited the text that will go onto our um, TikTok um, video. We have edited the TikTok account name as well in the, in the text uh, compositions here, okay? And you can also put any audio in for the background as well. I didn't do it for the sake of this video, just that it will be too long. Um, but you can do it exactly in the same way as I've downloaded these uh, video files. Now, to see the final composition, what you're going to do is click on the final comp and it's going to look something like this. You can also go into the um, controls and change any color for the background or for the blur or for the, the, the shadows. Um, I'm not going to do that now, but you have the option to do that. So take this out and this is going to be your final composition exactly how you're going to see it on your tiktok uh, channel okay so this is your final composition now what i'm going to do is to export it so that we can see the final result obviously this is running a bit slow on my pc because it is relatively heavy um, on the the processor so what i'm going to do is to export it and then we can see the final video so what we're going to do is to go to media encoder and then there you have it so it's h264 that's exactly what we want and we're going to specify where we want to save this file so i'm going to save it on the desktop for now okay and then we're going to say so now our final video is complete it has finished rendering and we're gonna go and have a look at it so let's see there we go it's very straightforward it is very simple very straightforward as i said it doesn't take long all you need is just the right quality and the right size of your footage your videos and all your images you just need to download it add them into the compositions and there you go so this was a quick intro to the the tiktok uh, side of the the templates from Advato elements i will be making more videos on the tiktok content so if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe hit the like button also follow on tiktok and i will see you in the next video thanks bye